Is 2015. The long awaited Rainbow Six Siege finally comes out. I'm so excited. I love this franchise, judging from the audience reaction, I think we're all having the same feeling about this game. It is close first combat that you've never experienced before. Everything is destroyed. And it's nothing like the trailers. Someone there. Revive you, revive you. No, no, it's a mat. It's a mat. It's a trap. Bro! Aaron. Aaron, I think they're there. I can't lie. Do you, do you want yeah. me to ping for you? Do you want me to ping for you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, you <laughs> Oh, Stop oh. being fucking dumb. Use your brain. <laughs> Obviously, this is expected by a company like Ubisoft. It isn't the first time a downgrade like this has happened before. Bomb diffuser in place. So everybody fucking keeps asking me what's in the canister, what's in the canister. Ah, funny, funny, funny. It's a nerf. Yeah, there's a nerf in the canister. Mine's funny now. Back then, R6 was probably one of the most fun multiplayer games ever. They updated it regularly and eventually more and more people started to play it. It was a fun 5v5 shooter where a bunch of idiots would fight each other to the death. I mean sure, there was an objective, but like, no one really seemed to care. Player count increased, but very slowly. The game was obviously the same format over and over, so it wasn't groundbreaking or anything. People had actual fun with the game, and it wasn't too competitive just yet. There were updates, features that were broken but still enjoyed, and more. It was chaos, but the kind that everyone loved. The point is, game broken, people enjoy. Game fixed, more people enjoy. Until winter 2017. Now my theory for the player count increasing by like 12 billion is probably the fact that Ubisoft made a version of the game that was around 12 pounds. Keep in mind that people in this day and age still pay 60 pounds for games that are newly released. Complain, then go back to playing that same game they've been playing for a decade. Funnily enough, that one game that most people would have 10,000 hours on would also be R6. It was up there. Late 2017 to early 2018 was probably the peak period of time for R6. Ubisoft even said themselves, we made a commitment to treating our game as a service and investing it in for the long term. Our vision was not a game that you played through and beat, but something you'd regularly come back to. In order to do that, we'll be actively supporting Rainbow Six Siege with gameplay balancing and tweaks, events and competitions. But where did it go all wrong? The game's player base declining is completely normal, but R6's decline was out of the ordinary. Take Modern Warfare for example, they made regular game changing updates and it was actually exciting and fun, but eventually players got bored and then they moved on. We could say the same for R6 right? Well, not really, 
because every player had their own reason to quit. If we were to narrow it down, it would be for three reasons. Most players would consider Operation Grim Skies to be the first stage of downfall. The reason for this is that this was the first season to come out with a rework of an old classic map instead of a new map. Already, this pissed off most of the player base. A year after that, Ubisoft stopped making new weapons as well in Operation Phantom Sight, possibly the worst season of all time because it was just so lazy and unexciting. Ubisoft had recycled operators' abilities and people just weren't hyped anymore. Because of these chain of events, people started to complain about bringing back the old stuff, the broken hitboxes, the ACOG for majority of the operators. The reality was that people were just in denial that their favorite game was starting to collect some dust. So instead of accepting that the game isn't fun anymore, they just started to complain about it to Ubisoft. Or is it the fact that Ubisoft genuinely became money hungry and started to milk the game like an unneeded Netflix sequel? We have one more surprise for you. And that is no more new content. That leads me to my next two points, where we discuss if it's Ubisoft's fault or the players. There's no doubt that R6 became too competitive, to the point where it just wasn't fun anymore. Whether it was personal preference or just no more enjoyment, the game's plateau had its reasons. I mean, what the f is this? What happened to breaking walls and shooting terrorists? But some parts were for the better. Ubisoft prevented people throwing ranked games often, griefing, and made the game's ranking system as fair as possible by removing certain game modes and maps. Yet, I think I can speak for everyone when I say, at some times, it was too much. They didn't do anything about the cheaters, and even recently, the new five map ban they added, people have been complaining that they've played the same map at least 60 times now. Bruv, I swear to God. The game wasn't a fun shooter anymore. It was a cash cow for all of these events and competitions. When Ubisoft made changes to welcome new players, they essentially neglected the older players. Playing as recruit isn't even fun anymore as you can't just go guns a blazing with a shield or an LMG. Spawn peeking and runouts were probably the most controversial feature of all time. Many players loved it, many players hated it. But preventing it from actually happening, it's hard to tell if players were angry or not. I mean, sure, yeah, it's less annoying to be instantly killed at the beginning of a round. But if you've been playing for a while, you literally would have seen it coming and probably killed the Pika. Fucking shooting me! What the fuck is wrong with you? Chill! There was a miss input! Miss input! Calm down! You calm the fuck down! Oh, there was a miss input! Oh my god, god, this community is overreacting. I think this comment summarizes it all perfectly. I think it's good that they are actually spending time trying to balance and rework the game. Problem is, they are fing shit at it. R6 was no longer the fun addicting game that it was. It was a competition. You'd have to put a lot of effort compared to before to actually enjoy the game. And strategies didn't feel as creative and rewarding anymore. But it wasn't entirely Ubisoft's fault, just most of it. Make me stop enjoying it is an oversaturation of goods. So unfortunately, my prediction was correct. As things continued to get added and changed in Rainbow Six Siege, the less I was interested in it. At a certain point, I was saying that these meta changes felt like they were replacing content updates in order to keep players interested. So how do you keep players interested in a game that's been out this long? I think one thing we can agree on at the end of the day is that people get bored. On the other hand, there's not much need to analyze as to why the game declined. I mean, sure, these ridiculous money-making schemes such as the Battle Pass would contribute to it, and also things such as straight up just fixing the wrong things. But like many people said, the more they added changes, the more it seemed like an attempt to keep players interested. What if players just got bored? It's inevitable and normal to happen. No other game would top R6. The game is still going pretty strong, and there's only a handful of games where developers would support it for nearly a decade, or at least the community would. Games like Team Fortress 2 were pretty much abandoned by its creators, but it's still the fourth most played game on Steam right now. Pretty impressive for a game that's older than most of you watching, but we can't really compare a game like TF2 to R6. It would probably never become a community supported game, and my prediction is that it just stops being supported in a few years down the line and eventually it just becomes an all-time classic. We won't know for now what's gonna happen, but if we were to look at the game now, it's come a very long way. Considering every format of gameplay is pretty much the exact same, a decline is expected. In short, it was bound to happen as any other game would. There's reasons why the biggest R6 YouTubers have moved on too. Sometimes it isn't just changes or competitiveness, 
it can just straight up be boredom and it's how the human mind works. The game isn't completely dead as it still has a decently large player base. Even if everybody prefers how it was before, the only thing we can do now is just move on.